Hi, I'm Emily. I'm a parish member at St. Catherine Drexel in Ramsey, Minnesota, and I'm the natural family planning pharmacist. And I'm here today to talk about natural family planning. What is it and what does the church say about it? So a little introduction. Why are we talking about this? Well, when is the last time you talked about natural family planning? Maybe if you got married in the Catholic Church, you talked about it at your marriage prep. If you're like me and you joined the Catholic Church as an adult, um, maybe you found out about it when you read the catechism. If you're one of those crazy people like me that actually read the catechism, um, or maybe this is the first time that you're hearing this term. So I don't hear enough people talking about it uh, with my medical background. I definitely didn't learn about it in pharmacy school. So I want to spread more awareness about it. Also, I think we can all recognize that hormonal contraceptives are very common in our American culture. And so I feel very passionately about making sure that all women, not just Catholic women, know what all of their options are for avoiding a pregnancy. And then because we are the church and the Catholic church is very clear about uh, condoning natural family planning and not condoning other artificial methods of contraception. And we'll talk about that a little bit more. Um, but it's important to know um, if we are the church, you know, what, what we believe. And then because we need to support and encourage each other, um, we don't have to go through this alone. You don't have to learn these things alone. I know when I was first interested in learning about natural family planning, I felt so scared to talk to anyone about it and it felt so secretive. And I just want to be here to support and encourage you and let you know that um, if you have questions about natural family planning, like you're not the only one and let's, let's work together. So why am I specifically talking about you? Well, natural family planning has made a huge impact in my life. It's given me more self-confidence, more self-love. It has definitely improved my marriage, our communication. Um, it has helped me avoid a pregnancy naturally and live in the peace that comes from knowing that we're doing what the church believes in um, and what I believe is God's will for marriage and family planning. And um, it's made a big difference for me health-wise too. It was because of natural family planning that I found out that I had a condition that needed medical attention. And it was through my natural family planning instructor that I was connected with a physician who could work with me and work with my body and wouldn't just prescribe me birth control to cover up the issue. Also because I'm a pharmacist and I feel really passionately about helping people know how to live their healthiest lives. And for women, I believe being healthy is working with your body, knowing your body, recognizing how your body was made by God to work. And then using that information, you know, birth control pills are the only type of medication that we give to women to cover up a normal, fully functioning body system. And I just don't think that's okay. And as a pharmacist, I want to educate about, you know, what are natural um, methods and then I want to make it a lot easier for couples. So like I shared, when I first decided that I wanted to use natural family planning, it was a bit of a struggle. I didn't know who to turn to. I didn't know exactly where to go. Thankfully, um, I was brave. Well, I was brave enough to ask one person at my parish, uh, in a Facebook message because I was too scared to talk to her about it in person. And then thankfully she connected me with someone else in my parish. And then that person thankfully was willing to talk to me on the phone and let me ask her a bunch of personal questions and help me find out all about it and how to find out about the resources on a St. Paul Minneapolis Archdiocese website. And I'll share some of those resources at the end. And 
I just want to make it easier for you. If you want to use natural family planning, which I hope that you do by the end of this presentation, then you need to know where to go and where to get started. And um, I want to offer a way to help women and couples. All right. So what is natural family planning? I put together this meme because there are a lot of misconceptions out there from natural family planning just being a way to have a million children to being forced to wear a chastity belt, um, snake oil, but really what it is is knowing your body's natural signs and then keeping track of them and then using that information. So the definition of natural family planning in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary is right there for you. It's observing and measuring bodily symptoms. And then when you're using it to avoid pregnancy, you're abstaining from intercourse during your fertile time. Um, and, you know, every woman is only fertile for six days during each menstrual cycle. And even if you're having very normal menstrual cycles, that six day window can vary some. And so it's knowing what your unique fertile window is. And then um, as Catholics, knowing the definition from the USCCB, um, it's just a broad term for scientific, natural, moral methods of family planning and using the information either for achieving or postponing pregnancies or even for general health. Um, natural family planning is also called a fertility awareness-based method. You might also um, hear the term cycle tracking or body literacy being used as well. What is natural family planning not, I think that's helpful. Um, it's not the rhythm method or just the calendar method that you may have heard about. Now, if you're following your cycles and you're keeping track, um, there are certain methods that do teach you to look at the calendar and look at your past cycles to determine your fertile window, but it's not something as generic as saying, oh, ovulation happens about day 14, so just avoid on these few days around it. Um, it's really looking at what your body is doing and what your body is seeing. And then I did just want to mention that natural family planning, although it doesn't involve taking birth control or putting synthetic hormones in your body, it doesn't mean necessarily entirely avoiding medications. There are um, medications that can be used along with natural family planning for women who have hormone conditions like hypothalamic amenorrhea or polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS. Um, so it doesn't mean just completely avoiding medications, but not putting synthetic hormones into your body. So natural family planning is amazing because it respects the natural fertility process. And again, it can be used to achieve or avoid a pregnancy. What you do is identify your days of fertility. And then if you want to get pregnant, you would have intercourse on those days. And if you don't want to get pregnant, then you would avoid intercourse on those days. So I'm going to talk about four main natural family planning methods um, that have a Catholic basis behind them. So um, one of those methods is the Creighton model or NAPRO technology. With this method, um, a woman tracks cervical mucus. So this is normal fluid that comes um, when a woman uses the bathroom. When she wipes, she observes the mucus um, and then it is taught how to keep track of that and uses different colors and stickers. That's similar, I'll jump over to the Billings ovulation method. This was actually the first um, natural family planning method that was developed. And uh, Creighton was an adaptation of the Billings method. But with the Billings method, also focus on cervical mucus only, um, just a little bit a different way of charting with the Billings method. It's more subjective. You can describe your symptoms how you want. With the Creighton method, there's more of a standard approach to 
um, monitoring those. And then the Marquette method, that's the newest um, method of natural family planning. And that's actually the natural family planning method that I am certified and I instruct women and couples in. Um, with that method, you have a few different options of fertility signs to follow. So you can track cervical mucus. You can use a electronic fertility monitor to track hormone levels in the urine, and that's what that picture above is showing. Um, you can do daily checks and actually see how your hormone levels change during your cycle and know um, what that means for when you're fertile or not. Um, you can also check your daily body temperature. This sign is used as a double check in addition to either the cervical fluid or the hormone levels um, to confirm when ovulation has happened. And then, um, like I mentioned with the calendar method, with the Marquette method, there's also um, a you can determine your own fertility formula. And that's basically looking back at your past cycles and then seeing when is the start and end of your fertile window usually, and then using that information to determine your fertile window. Um, and so there's different options, either using cervical fluid alone, using the monitor alone, using both of them, um, and then you can add on the fertility formula or body temperature with those, um, just depending on what works best for you. And then there is also the symptothermal method, um, which is the method taught through the Couples to Couples League. So with that, um, the signs that are used are tracking cervical mucus, daily basal body temperature, your resting body temperature, and then also feeling for change in the cervix. Um, physically examining is an option with that method. So, Family planning and the church. What does our Catholic church have to say about natural family planning? Well, first, what does the Bible have to say? Um, I think you're probably familiar with this first verse from Genesis um, with God giving the command to be fruitful and increase in number, um, telling the human race to procreate. What you may not be so familiar with, I know I never learned this story in Sunday school growing up, um, but in Genesis 38, it tells of a story of a man who spilled his semen on the ground and what he did was so wicked that the Lord put him to death. And so that's a pretty blunt illustration right there that God did not approve of separating the procreative purpose of marriage and intimacy with the unitive um, aspect. So what does the church say? Um, if you go and read the catechism, which I highly encourage, um, it talks about, you know, our fertility is a gift. And that's one thing that I love about natural family planning. It teaches you to recognize and appreciate the gift of how our bodies were made. And it talks about the inseparable connection established by God between the unitive, so bringing a spouse together, and the procreative, being able to bring new life out of that union, which are both inherent to the marriage act. The church does specifically talk about couples wanting to separate the births of their children and um, does talk about doing that in a moral, respectful way where you're respecting how your bodies were made to work and respecting the way that marriage was designed, but also practicing um, some chastity when practiced with sincerity. And um, that's part of it too. And then the Humanae Vitae, if you haven't read this letter, I highly recommend it. It's beautiful, beautiful description of um, God's plan for the family and for marriage. And it in there, it specifically talks about um, an act of mutual love that impairs the capacity to transmit life, which God designed our bodies to be able to work that way, frustrates his design, and contradicts the will of God, the author of life. Um, and so if you're depriving the marital act of its full meaning, you're acting in opposition to God and his will. So 
again, how is natural family planning different when used to avoid pregnancy? It's respecting the way God created our bodies and our sexuality. It's preserving the unitive and the procreative purposes of marriage and acknowledging that God is the master of life, right? I know it's our human nature. It's my nature for sure to want to be in control and feel like I'm in control of my life, but recognizing that God is truly in control. There are pregnancies that happen for couples who are using barrier methods or using birth control or even who have had surgery done. Um, God is really the one in control and letting go of that and having faith is part of what it means to be a believer. So as a pharmacist, you know, I'm used to counseling people on side effects and you know, when I'm talking about natural family planning, you, you know, one of the benefits that I say is it's all natural, you know, you're not having to deal with side effects of medication, but does natural family planning have side effects? Well, I would say yes, but I would say that they are positive ones. So for the woman, it's understanding your body. I know I was one of those women that never used to know when my period would come and I'd go to the doctor and they'd ask me and I'd kind of guess. Now I know when my period's coming. I know how to recognize those signs and it's just so empowering to be in tune with your cycle. Also, the pressure is off. Um, you don't have to feel pressure to have a device inserted or to take a pill every day. Um, honestly, natural family planning is truly the most feminist approach to family planning because the definition of feminism is equality between the man and woman. And with natural family planning, you're working together as a spouse. It's on both of you to know um, what's going on with your fertility signs in your fertile window and how you're going to use that information for your intimacy. It's natural. You're not filling your body with chemicals. And then for achieving pregnancy, you know, if you're paying attention to your signs in your body, you may notice those subtle signs of pregnancy earlier. And then you also may able, be able to recognize when something is not right. And I shared at the beginning, that was the case for me. Um, something, my cycles were abnormally long, something wasn't looking right. And so I was able to get the help that I needed. For the man, um, understanding what your wife's body is doing, maybe understanding is a strong word, but having some awareness of what your wife's body is doing, having respect for your wife's natural fertility. You know, we don't say it this way, but if you're asking your wife to take birth control, you're asking her to cover up her God-given gift and her God-given body, the way it's designed to function. And so, um, having that respect and that appreciation of who she is, and then being able to co-manage family planning. The burden isn't on you to use a barrier. Um, you're working together with your spouse. And so then for the couple, um, this is a picture of my husband and I at St. Catherine Drexel. We um, got our marriage blessed by the Catholic Church, and it was really special because we were able to do it on our actual wedding anniversary, on our sixth wedding anniversary. So that was pretty awesome. Um, but for the marriage, increased communication, being on the same page regarding family planning, and then just that peace and assurance that comes from living in accordance with God's plan. And I believe that when you're living in accordance of with what the Bible says and what the church says, God will bless you for that. So where can you go for more information? Um, if you want to find out more, I do have a website that has some basic resources, has a chart that talks about the different methods. I listed the websites there where you can find out some more information about the different methods that I talked about. And then if you're in the Twin Cities like I am, you can um, go to the Archdiocese website and they post a class directory. I'm going to be on there soon um, uh, teaching the Marquette method. Um, if you're looking for a Marquette instructor, I'd love for you to work with me, but you can also go to this directory and look at um, options for both online or in-person instruction. Um, for the Creighton method, you can go to the Twin Cities Fertility Care website 
or um, there's online options for working with someone through the Couples to Couples League. And then if you're looking for a physician, if you're having some period issues or hormone issues and you want to know of a physician who um, uses natural family planning, there's a few in the Twin Cities and this directory um, lists them throughout the country. So head there. Um, one book I recommend, this was really helpful for me and my husband um, to help motivate us to really start using natural family planning. It's called Natural Family Planning, Blessed Our Marriage by Fletcher Doyle. And it just shares different stories of real couples using natural family planning. Um, I think you can just find it online. Um, but it was really helpful for me, I thought. And just thank you. Um, I really appreciate the opportunity. And if you do want to contact me, email me. Um, again, you can go to my website. Or if you think you want to work with me or just want to learn more about natural family planning, um, you can have a free 15 minute video call with me. Um, the link is there. You can find it on my website too. And um, just thank you so much and God bless.